I'm going to walk you through the commissioning process for this unit as if I was a new installer or maybe a homeowner. So on the back of the DTU, there's a QR code. One of the QR codes is for the end user and one is for the installer. We're gonna to go to the installer app first. All right, on the app store, there's the uh, installer and the end user. All right, so log in. Um, let's go to no account. I'm a new installer. Please approach a distributor, okay? I was curious to see if it would let me commission this product without having an account. So in order to start these up, you will need to contact Hoy Miles and then set up a login. I don't wanna dox addresses, but up at the top, um, you can click new and now I'm gonna enter the name. Um, plant type is residential. Capacity, let's say 300 watts, 0.3, time zone. All right, let's do, let's do the middle of the Utah Lake. Confirm, um, add a photo. When you have a grid connected solar panel system, that inverter has to work with your area's regulations for producing power and back feeding it to the grid. So when I'm setting up this system, I need to put in my address, I need to put in the region I'm at, and I need to upload what's called a grid profile. So this is all technical data, but this system will not work unless you do those things. We're gonna add the DTU. So we wanna enter the serial number on it which is right on the back side. Um, now we need to add a microinverter. So for the microinverters, there's a serial number on them. One stays on the microinverter. The other one is pillable that you can take off and put on a site map that comes with the DTU. You need to put it on that site map or just put on like a piece of cardboard or something that you have, but you need it in order to commission the system. All right, that's been added and finished. Azimuth. Your azimuth is like facing south. So this is south facing, which is 180 degrees. Um, your tilt is at a 90 degree angle because it's on the wall. Um, and then layout, we'll just save it. Uh, this screen here is essentially when you monitor your system, you'll be able to see how much power each individual panel is producing. So if you have this set up correctly, um, like if you have a four in one microinverter, you need to know the input on each of those four in ones. So you can be like, oh, the top right panel's broken or something like that. You'll be able to read your system correctly and know which panel is actually in the physical layout on your roof. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit next. Um, installer map, that's cool. You can take a picture of that installer map, skip through that. Currency, electric owner, export management, power balance, configuration. Not gonna mess around with any of those and go finish. Now that you've set it up, the next thing you need to do is get it connected to the internet, which was a little bit confusing and is hard. Networking is the hardest part of solar panel installation, but it has to be connected to the internet. You wanna connect to the Wi-Fi that this device is going to connect to. After that's done, you wanna plug it in and you wanna to go to your Wi-Fi settings and you can actually connect to the Wi-Fi on this unit. When you open your settings on your phone or your tablet or whatever, it'll say DTU. So connect to that, that's the DTU. And once you're connected, um, you'll go to the installer app. You'll go to this middle icon right here. When you go to that middle icon, then you're gonna to go to network configuration, click allow, and it's gonna to establish to the connection with the DTU. Scroll down and selected the network that you wanna connect the system to. Then you can go back to that plant or that site. This is, this is one thing that's confusing. Connect your device to the internet, the same internet that you want the DTU connected to. Then connect your device to the DTU. Then the DTU, DTU will know what internet you were selected to and then select that internet from the dropdown enter your credentials and then click finish. The system is up and running, though the app will have a basic layout um, producing 6.2 watts right now. Um, give you your day, month, and lifetime production. Pretty straightforward. You have more of a bar graph where you can adjust the parameters on it. The next menu at the bottom is a the solar panel layout, the physical layout, where you can click on that solar panel. So you can see, uh, yeah, current output, voltage, and um, wattage um, toggled on this graph and this is per panel um, so you can see which port it's plugged into what the location is the DTU um, just the uh, the serial number for the microinverter everything from that menu 
uh, giving you some really good data. So yeah, you can see live right now I have 6.6 uh, .6 watts, and then you can also switch from power to energy. Um, that's still at zero. Got a little bar graph down there, and then the last uh, last menu option here is the uh, plant details, communications, plant revenue, and that's where you can you know make some minor adjustments. Curious if I just like left this in here in my garage, how much? how much electricity it would produce just when my garage opens in the morning.